Well, hey folks, and welcome to Solar Cabin Channel. It is winter at the cabin. Finally. <laughs> We've had only maybe a skiff of snow, about an inch of snow all winter long here. Here it is, the end of February, and this is what we got today. So overnight it dropped, looks like about uh, three to four inches of fresh snow on us. And so I thought I'd just uh, take you around my solar panels here because uh, a few years back, about eight years ago, I moved my solar panels down to a ground mount. And this is the reason I did that. I used to have them up there on my porch up there. A lot of people remember that. Had them up there on the porch. I used to have to skinny out my uh, window up there and uh, get my big broom and my brush. And, and uh, it got kind of dangerous for me to get out there on that roof, especially with a lot of heavy snow on it. And it was also starting to push my roof out of shape. So I moved my solar panels down here into a ground mount. Now, this is so much easier and is what I recommend, especially for off-gridders where you live in high snow country, you might want to consider a ground mount. So what I'm going to do now, all it'll take is I'll, I just get the same brush that I use for brushing off my truck windows, and I'll brush those right off, scrape them down a little bit, and uh, when the sun gets up and warms up enough, it'll just melt these right off. Now, I got my panel set at about 45 degrees, uh, so the, generally the snow would melt off if it's not very thick, but because it's going to stay cold today and the sun's probably not going to come out much, I'm going to go ahead and brush them off and and get them down to where they're the snow the sun whatever warm we get from the sun will at least melt them off down that far so let me go ahead and get my scraper out and we'll scrape these off okay so like i said i have my panels at a, about a 45 degree angle that's so that i get the best sunlight in winter time when the sun is lower going across the sky in summer the sun's up higher but because it's uh you know we get a lot more sun in the the summertime uh, the, the 45 degree angle works for all year long. So I'm just going to show you. This is pretty thick snow. It looks like about four inches. But look how easy this comes off these panels. Now, if it was a really uh, icy wet, then I might have to use a scraper. Because this is kind of a dry snow, uh, it's not real icy. It just brushes right off. So this is so much easier than having to get up on my roof get the snow off only takes a second and then a little bit of snow that's left on and that'll just uh, come off as soon as the sun comes up and I also scraped off this is my 400 watt system that is my main cabin system runs everything in my cabin then I also have a 200 watt system over there that is for my uh, backup uh, power station for charging gadgets and tools then I have a couple of other smaller panels that I use for a 100-watt uh, system that is just basically for uh, gadgets and recharging. This is my main system here. So, that's how I clean off my panels and is why I recommend a ground mount system, especially for smaller systems like this for off-grid off use, uh, works really well. All right, folks, this is my uh, winter day at the cabin. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, you can go by my... Uh, website simplesolarhomesteading.com where you can learn about how I set up my uh, off-grid systems and uh, you can get yourself a set of cabin plans if you want. Have a great day.